Hey guys, welcome back to another Lady Friend tutorial video. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made super cute little turnips from Animal Crossing New Horizons, so you can also cosplay as Daisy Mae. So let's just jump right on into how I did that. So to start, this is with another pattern from Etsy. It's just a standard um, circle pattern. Um, and I'm basically taking this one piece and I am going to trace it eight times per turnip. I did three turnips, so I had to do a ton of these. But before I started tracing, I am using my pattern notcher to notch the lines for when I line it all up. And I am doing this all on six millimeter EVA foam. Technically though, the template says do it on five millimeter. I just didn't really have enough five millimeter to do it. So I, I just substituted six. You could do either or. And then I am cutting it with my box cutter since the lines are pretty simple enough to cut and it is a little bit thick. You could get away with an exacto. I, I just said screw it. Let's use the box cutter so we can cut through it real quickly. Since I had to do this again eight times per turnip and I was making three turnips. So it was a lot of repetition. So anywhere I could save time I was. Now we begin with the really hard part. So I have to glue eight pieces together into a sphere. <laughs> So we have those little mark lines that I made thanks to the pattern notcher for marking them on the pattern so I can just mark them with my marker. Uh, what I'm doing, I'm taking like to start two pieces and I'm doing contact cement on each edge. Um, as I start to stick the pieces together, I'm kind of holding it over my heat gun so I can heat it and shape it so it will stick together and so the seam will go together perfectly. And I have to do this over and over. It gets gradually more difficult, you'll notice, as you add more and more pieces, especially when you get to the last piece, because with the last piece you have to paint or put contact cement on that last piece, both sides and on the two sides of the where the opening is. Uh, but after you've done this, you will have a sphere. Just make sure to do this over your heat gun. Try not to keep it on too high of a temp though. You don't want to hurt your little fingies while you're holding it over there. But it takes a little bit of patience. Go slowly. I highly recommend going slowly with it. That way you won't get as many like gaps in the seams or any errors. Um, if you do any have any, if you do have any major gaps, you're able to smooth it out with the Dremel. That's what I did. I actually only used the Dremel on this to smooth out the seams. And then I also just applied a little bit of caulk with some water, um, adhesive caulk specifically, to fill in any seams that weren't um, perfect by the time I was done with the Dremel. And look at that, a sphere. Next up is the leaves. Each turnip has four leaves, so I need to make four leaf pieces. I just drew a random leaf stencil and rolled with it. Um, so I cut out four and I did three turnips. So four times three, that's math. I think it's 12. I made 12 leaves. You don't have to make 12 leaves unless you make, you know, three turnips. Um, so I'm doing that step next and I'm just doing this on four millimeter EVA foam. Um, I cut this with a baby uh, box cutter is the best way I can call it. It's like a little baby box cutter. So that one was really nifty to kind of cut through quickly and everything. Um, and then once I cut through all of that, I didn't Dremel this one at all. There was just no need. The leaves can be kind of weirdly shaped. You don't want any of these to look perfect. They're turnips for crying out loud. No two turnips look the same and no turnips are perfect. And same thing with the leaves. So I didn't Dremel them. I did take my heat gun though and hold the leaves over that to kind of bend where the bottom part is of the leaf where it's going to attach to the to the turnip and then to curve the actual tip of the leaf where it's more rounded so it would have cool different little leaf shapes on the turnip. And then I did end up hot gluing them actually onto the turnips. I didn't use contact cement. I was just really struggling with the contact cement because of the caulk. So I went with the hot glue. It was just holding a lot better. 
And I am just gluing them to kind of make like a baby circle at the very tippy top as close together as possible. Um, so that way it also gives you something a little nice to hold while you're holding the prop. Almost consider it like a handle. So now I'm taking a, uh, a wood burner, basically stylus kind of thing. You could also use like a soldering iron as well. Um, basically something that gets hot. <laughs> so you can draw in details into your turnips. I drew like these two lines at the top and then these three little dots at the bottom kind of around the turnip. They don't all have to match. They don't all have to be the same length or size. If it's more random, the better. Cause again, three turnips should not look identical. It just doesn't happen you know, in nature. So we did that portion as well. After that, these turnips need tips. They need little tips on their little butts. So we just use foam clay for that. So I wet the, uh, the bottom of the foam turnip. I made like a little cone. Some of them had little curls at the bottom. They obviously all didn't look the same. And I wet that foam clay and I attached it to the butt of the turnip. Um, it foam clay attaches really well just with water to EVA foam. So it's really easy to get on there. Um, and I didn't really have to dremel that either because it, it's just really easy to smooth onto it. If you don't have that smooth of lines when you put it on, you can always go back and dremel it to sand it out, smooth it out, all that stuff. And then after that, I take my Plasti Dip to prime it. Unfortunately, I ran out of white Plasti Dip like right at the beginning of priming this so i had to start using the black plasti dip that i had um and basically if you're gonna paint something white don't use black plasti dip <laughs> that's all i have to say about that um now you will see i have just painted on my first coat of white paint onto the base of the turnip and the tip it was terrible it was horrible because like i said i used black plasti dip do not use black plasti dip if you're painting something white use black plasti dip if you're painting something black or dark colors because i had to do about a million coats of white paint with my little three inch roller um, I'm also using two different colors of green for the leaves. I'm using this kind of light sea green um, for the veins that I had to do a couple of coats and then this other like grass green for the actual leaves. Um, the, the greens were bought at Target. Don't buy Target's acrylic paint. They're not good. I love Target. I love you to death. This is not an attack on Target. I love Target, but don't buy their paints. They're not good. So we're doing all of that right now. Now for the bottoms of the leaves, I'm just painting one long thick vein and on the tops, I'm gonna follow the lines that I burned in with my wood burning stylus um, for those veins. I'm um, On the bottoms, I'm doing the big veins first and then the green of the leaves. On the tops, I'm doing the main leaf green first and then the veins um, on top of it, which worked out pretty well. And in between that, I'm doing 500 coats of white paint and I ran out of white paint during this with the worst part. I had to go to the store and everything. Now because Target's acrylic paint wasn't that great, I did have to do quite a few coats. I think at least three coats of all the greens because it just didn't really hold that well. And they're also very light greens. And again, the black plastic dip. I never really thought there was much of a difference between the two color plastic dips, but I have learned white plastic dip for white and light colors, black plastic dip for black and dark colors. It will save you a lot of coats. So now I am finally starting to paint the tops. You can see I don't actually bring the white all the way to the top of the turnip. That's because we're going to be adding some yellows and browns just to give it some more depth. So I didn't see a need to paint all the way up with the white since I was already pissed off with the white as it is. Now you can see I'm starting to add a layer of yellow a little bit away from the top of the turnip. It's a brighter yellow and I'm just going all the way around in this sort of uneven ring. I do the same thing at the tip of the turnip where I'm not quite at the tip. I'm a little bit of a ways down with another ring. We're going to be adding three layers of three different colors. So we're starting with the base of that light yellow. Then I'm going to do a second coat of that and then add on top of that a little higher up but still also slightly overlapping the light yellow with a darker mustard yellow. This was another one from Target, unfortunately. So it needed like four coats actually. Um, and then after that, I started doing the brown, which was 
along the edge of the leaves and in the center of the leaves and at the very tip of the turnip as well. But after these steps were completed, all the painting was finally done and I was able to seal it with my Liquitex sealer. Um, actually, before I did that, I also painted that dark yellow in some of the little holes and lines that we marked in. But then I sealed it with my Liquitex water-based satin varnish and it was all done and we have a super cute little Animal Crossing turnip. Look at that! Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this uh, craft that I made for a cosplay, please go ahead and make sure to check out the full cosplay all put together on FanHouse or TikTok. Um, and if you want to see more, make sure to hit subscribe and let me know in the comments what you want to see me make next. And thank you guys so much for watching. Okay, mm bye.